we have in class we are looking at uh, math 227 here's the canvas homepage. uh my name is dr Raipur. i sent you several emails regarding the course to explore your canvas i've set it up nice and easy it starts with numbers number one you want to watch this recording which is a one minute clip welcoming you to the course number two is the class philosophy class philosophy slash course objectives slash instructors contact info class philosophy this class is a community and therefore we all have the same objective to learn Online students often feel isolated, but it is vitally important to know you are not in this alone. I would like each of you to approach our online class with a great attitude and a willingness to help one another. Many problems and questions can be resolved by asking a fellow student. I am always here to help you, but I truly believe your experience will be more fruitful if you communicate with your fellow students as well. Let us work together to make this a memorable semester for each and every one of us. Course Objectives The objectives of our statistics course are about the use of probability techniques, hypothesis testing, and predictive techniques to facilitate decision-making. Topics include descriptive statistics, probability and sampling distributions, statistical inference, correlation and linear regression, analysis of variance, chi-square, and t-tests and application of technology for statistical analysis, including the interpretation of the relevance of the statistical findings. Applications using data from disciplines including business, social sciences, psychology, life science, health science, and education. Instructors contact information. Email me via Canvas or use the email address, ariapmaritlac.edu, and I reply from Monday to Friday within 24 hours. Going back to the home page, the next one would be the announcements. I put it in student mode. If you click on the announcements here or the middle of the page, these are the announcements that they were sent to you. It's a orientation and an old recordings that uh, I will have an updated one here shortly. Welcome and orientation, welcome to a virtual course. This, I repeated, this was two weeks ago, a week ago and a couple of weeks ago. Welcome you to the course, going back to the home page. Number four gives us the syllabus modules where we can find the homework from from the math practice test. Then we have the discussion forum. You can click on it here or there. And exams now because modules cover just about everything we need i want to quickly go over the discussion forum first here again you can find the discussion forum here or here makes no difference you have student bios and here's my example it's not graded if you want to answer a fellow student, just make sure with respect. Frequently asked questions. In the past, when students ask questions that were general questions, I put them here. And if you have a question, please check this before you ask. And if it's a new question, I will add it here. Questions such as, do I need a course ID? The answer is no. Access to expired homework. And so on and so forth. Going back to the discussion forum. Uh, so the first two are not ready. Then we have five of them one, two, three, four, five, DB, one, two, three, four, five. Each one is worth 20 points. They are being created. So when I go over the syllabus, I'll explain the creating policy. But for now, This is what Tony points. So how do we get this happen? 
you are required to post at least one question and its solution either from practice test number one posted under the modules or any source of your choice per grading policy in the syllabus. You must read all the posts and make sure not to duplicate any questions. Similar questions are acceptable. Read all the posts, questions and solutions posted by others first and pick a different question to post. No duplication is allowed. A question with one word solution, one line solution, or definition is not acceptable and results in zero points for the post. 10 points. Write the question number and copy down the question. Show all steps using the math equation editor or embed an image solution as explained below. Find a similar problem online or on YouTube or Khan Academy and post the link. 5 points. Comment on, explain, at least one classmate question that is either solved or is found online and posted by watching it carefully in its entirety. Explain about what the question addressed and what you learned from it and outline a few steps you learned as a result. A compliment is nice, but is not a comment. Five points. So the instruction is very simple. You pick a question to do either from a homework or a practice test and you write the question with details you write the solution with details and you want to write them in a manner that for it follows formulas and so on. that gives you 10 points then you have a similar question maybe from a youtube channel or so forth and that's five points okay and finally you comment on others you have to read others make sure you don't duplicate and you just basically write what you learned and at the bottom i have the information how to use the math editor and how to embed an image needless to say it's important to know that if you use a question that is not worthy for example uh, if it's being duplicated or it has just one word solution is not accepted so that gives you 20 points, and as long as you do one discussion for them, the rest of them follow in the same manner as far as their instructions. Going back to the home page. Now I want to look at the syllabus and the modules. Now to look at the syllabus, on the left side, we have two of them. We have a simple syllabus and we have a syllabus. And I wanted to keep both of them. Simple syllabus is set up by the campus and uh, it gives you the same thing that you can find under the syllabus, okay? So uh, the class number, dates, office hours, my information, course student learning outcomes, and so on. The text, which is mostly a reference text, I'll show you when you go to my open math as well. Here's the grading policy. Uh, homework is 200 points and remember the way i've set up the homework you can do it as many times as you want as long as it's done before the due date you get more credit for it uh, discussion for them there are five of them five times 20 is 100 points four exams each one is 100 points and the final 300 points although the final is comprehensive it's based on the previous exams and module five it's a point system. You can receive a total of 1,000 points. So 90%, meaning 900 to 1,000 is an A. 80%, 800 to 899 is a B. So on and so forth. And more information here. So this is the simple syllabus. And these are the dates of the exam again. You can find them here. Okay, for example, the first one is 914. Or when you go to my open math, you can find the date. But I want to go over, I want to go over the syllabus here versus the sample syllabus. Uh, I have a both here in case if you find it easier to use this one, everybody. Okay, again, we have different topics here, such as you know, grading policy. And uh, you use the one that uh, you like the most. And of course, uh, one of the things that I mentioned is free online calculators. I'm going to discuss that when we go to my open math again. So that's the syllabus. Also, I have an Excel calendar that gives us the date of the exam. For example, the first one is September 14th, and then we have introductory assignment to my open math and algebra review that are due immediately. So we have those, and I want to go back to the whole page. 
the home page the next one it refers to is modules under the modules you can find practice this powerpoint solution to practice this homework all of the above so let's look at the modules so first and foremost my open mat this is where you do all your work and there has been some problem with the integration so we can't integrate it. so you go to the website it will ask you for the course id and it will ask you for the enrollment key copy down and register so that's the first thing the next one is recorded lecture practice test i'm going to come to this after i explain the first module what is that so the first module, which takes place for the first three weeks, covers the first three chapters. First, I have this practice test. Then I have the PowerPoints, and then I have the solution to the practice test. So here's the practice test, everybody. What I'd like you to do is take a few minutes to read the practice test because it tells you what's coming your way. And as you go through the PowerPoints and homework, do one or two questions daily, daily. Now, the next one, after the practice test, you have chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. These are PowerPoints. So if I go over one of them, for example, here, here's chapter one, which covers three sections. So if you click on the first one, it's important to know that if you download and put this in slide mode, it doesn't give you the whole page, rather it gives you a line. For example, you want to do this example one, it just asks you the question, okay? It just asks you the question. And then after that, uh, you can click it and one by one, uh, go down and uh, watch the solution. All right, so we have, the modules here we have the uh, chapter one same thing chapter two those are the powerpoints chapter three and then what is this one now if you recall this was the practice test everybody and now this is the solution to the practice test so not only i give you the practice test i give you the solution but please don't consult the solution until you've done the work on your own okay and get to the habit of writing formulas always write formulas now what else can you find on the modules so again module one has the practice test powerpoints solution to the practice test and if you come up here these are recorded practice tests. so the practice tests have been the solution to them have been recorded this is the latest one. This is the one before that. This is the one before that. This is instruction on taking exams in my open math. I highly recommend you look at it. So for example, this one class. Uh, these are the sections and the chapters. Okay, chapter one, notice. Module one, practice this one, chapter one. Same thing, chapter two, same thing, chapter three. And then we go to module two, practice test two, chapter four, and chapter five. So those are the practice tests we have in the lectures as well, okay? Now, going back to the modules. So at the very top, this is your digital home, my open map. The next one, recorded practice test. The next one is module one. And you don't want to worry about module two because module two repeats with the practice test, PowerPoints, and the solution too. If you go down to the last one, this is a module which contains the following resources. Formulas, because you can use formula sheet for your exams. These are the formulas. I highly recommend you write the formulas in order to receive points as partial credit you have to show work going back to the modules the next one would be you can use tables
in statistics, you can use various tables or you can use technology. Nowadays, mostly they use technology. For example, the Z-score, positive Z, negative Z, the T-table, chi-square, and so on. Again, the very last module on Canvas would be resources. The last one is about TI calculator. So what I have here for you is the information about TI calculator, for example. Over here, I tell you how to download the emulator. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it works, it will look something like this everywhere, OK? If you can make it work, you will have access to this. You turn it on, and you start working, OK? But in any event, there are other calculators, OK? These are TI calculator commands. And at the end, I have various calculators online. Also, I can show you in my open map. So you don't have to pay for any online calculator. For any calculator. If you have a TI, so be it. If not, you don't have to purchase that. So that's what you find under the modules. And that basically covers the whole page here. Now, what I want to do is, when, again, I'm going to remind you again, under the modules, this first one, you go to my open math, which is this website. You put the course ID, you should do the enrollment, the enrollment key, and you add the course, and it will take you here. Now, at the very top, we have introduction to my open math. I'll show you in a moment. The next one is algebra review. You need to know a certain amount of algebra to do well in this course. The next one would be exams because I, in the past, sometimes students would get lost not knowing where to find the exams. I put it at the top also. For now, you don't have to worry about that. Then we have the description and then we have the calendar. Take a look at the calendar. This is the number of weeks. You can choose what you want. Please pay attention that this assignment is doing a couple of days, which is introduction to my open math, and this is algebra review a couple of days later. What I want you to notice, example is due and the day before that all the homework are due. What does it mean? Should I wait until they do the homework? Absolutely not. You do the homework on a daily basis. Then, as far as the chapters are, uh, as far as the modules are concerned, the modules here are identical to the modules in Canvas modules one, two, three, four, five. So what is module zero? As the name indicates, resources. So I want to explain this one to you. First and foremost, here's your book. Okay. So this is the book that you have based on this book, which is online which is more of a reference text. Uh, how to use a, a late pass calendar, my open math grade book, and so forth. As far as the late pass, uh, there's a 10% penalty. And if you if anybody uses it, normally they get behind. They have a hard time catching up. The exams don't have a late pass, and neither does the last module. Now we have uh, instructors resources, such as tables. Okay, We have seen this in Canvas, by the way, and so forth. Now, here's, again, you, you can find this under the syllabus, but free online calculators, please understand there are many, 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 many online calculators. If you can make that TI emulator work for you, so be it. If you can't, or if you have a calculator, more power to it. If you don't, you don't have to pay for it. This is a common one. So is this one, for example, this one, and uh, under the tools, it says go to calculators. I've explained it here. Go to a calculator. And now, various calculators, the Z-score calculator, the T-score calculator. So uh, you need to uh, get familiar with any of those calculators that you intend to use. I highly recommend you take a few minutes to look at each one. Uh, Star Trek calculator sometimes. Students like that better. And so use the one that works for you. As we go down, there are instructors, resources. You can find my resources, multimedia library. We have more videos. We have p-value calculators and more online calculators, such as Desmos and videos as to how to use it. 
online stat calculator, daily schedule calculator, study schedule calculator, so on and so forth. So again, what is module zero? A lot of resources. Please take a look at them. Module one, two, three, four are very similar to one another. So if you look at module one, it has three chapters. You start with the first one. Notice what I tell you. First, watch these videos, the ones in red. In the past, a lot of students just watched that and then they started the homework and that was good enough. Uh, these are my lectures, okay? And uh, these are all the recommended videos, okay? And you can do when you're done. You can do the same thing with 1.2, 1.3, so on and so on. So what I want to show you, I want to show you this uh, mandatory assignment, for example, of how it works. And I want to show you that uh, sky is the limit when you write it. For example, this one says just write the question. So if I write 79.3979, and this one, I want to raise it, I want it to the nearest hundreds, which is 9. 9 next to the 7 goes up to 10. So 79. A point four zero, and this one divide by zero. We can't divide by zero. It's undefined. It doesn't have a DNE. So if I submit the questions, notice the check marks, right? What do I want to tell you about this? Let's say I made a mistake. For example, this one one third is point three bar, and let's write down zero point two, which is a wrong answer. And I say submit question. Cool. Okay, so if I submit question, what happens is wrong. What do I do? Get a similar question. If I get a similar question, it will happen to give me the same one. 0 0.3 bar, I'm going to put quite a few number threes and submit the question. And notice what happened now. It check marks. And not only that, uh, I'm going to press done here. So what happens, it check, it it writes down my grade, but the rest of them are unattempted. And as long as I come back before the due date, I can resume. After the due date, those two that I've done correctly becomes my grade. But before that, I can come back and resume. So I'm going to exit. Now, what I want to show you is when you go to others, for example, algebra review, uh, what I want you to see, it's it's identical to that. You do it in the same manner. You answer it in the same manner. However, many of these questions have a video. Let's say I forgot how to answer this question. Just watch the video. And the next one, not only has a video, has a written example. Now, not all of the questions have videos, but many of them do. Okay, many of them do. And that's the idea. For example, number eight doesn't work. When I finish number seven, which is about factorial, I should have no problem with number eight. So I hope everybody is okay with that. And bear in mind that many of the uh, questions you do, they do have a video. So I want to uh, recap what we just did. Number one, the email that was sent to you said, you know, explore the course. There is a video welcoming you to the course. We have a class philosophy. We have the syllabus here modules, discussion forms. You can go to the simple syllabus or you can go to the syllabus that I have here which has the syllabus and the Excel calendar. Uh, discussion form, the first two are not graded. The first one is a student bio, the next one is frequently asked question, but this one needs to be graded. Each one is 20 points. There are five of them. Five times 20, 100 points. There are three parts to it. You have to write a question with details. You can even pick it up from practice test. That's 10 points. And it has to be a worthy question. Read the instruction. You find a similar question and you comment on somebody's work, not saying, thank you, it was great, but rather what you have learned. Under the modules, you can find how to log into my open math, the information about that. You go to the website, course ID, enrollment key. We have module one, which has practice test, PowerPoints for chapter one, two, three. 
solution to practice test. And over here, we have a recorded practice test and lectures. Module two repeats, three, four, five. And finally, the last one, also resources such as formulas, tables, TI commands. We go to my open math. At the very top, we start with this introduction to my open math, then algebra review. We pay attention to the calendar. We don't wait until the last moment to do the homework. Module zero, check it out for all those resources. If you don't need any of it, forget it. Starting with module one, chapter one, section 1 1.1, watch these videos. And then the homework, and you're done. Happy studying, everybody.